and very often this is, was amazing. Uh, the survivors, people like lost in the sea, in the Pacific Sea uh, for 52 days with almost nothing around. When they, the boat found him mm -hmm. and they told him, you won't come on, come, come on the boat, we give you. He said, ah, well, yes, but uh, if you have something to do, you, you can do, I am organized. I'm, I mean, <laughs> they were already adapted in the new situation where they were well, so to say, yes. Yes. the way they were. Okay, that's amazing. And that that's really amazing, and that yeah. gives you the perspective how we could we can because we all can uh, adapt ourselves and find a perspective where we can say, okay, uh, today we have bread and we eat bread. Today we have onions, we eat onions, and well, and I, I repeat again, it's not easy, it's not automatic. No, no. It helps. All right, so let's get straight to it. Today is Sunday, the 22nd of March, 2020. Uh, I am here in Scotland and uh, my good friend, Luigi Zanini, uh, in uh, Northern Italy, crazy times. Yeah. Absolutely, very, very difficult times. Well, as you know, uh, we have been the first, um, the first country which has been touched by the coronavirus after China. Uh, some scientists say because uh, of the similarity of climate uh, between mm -hmm. China and Italy, maybe also for strange connections between the two countries in the sense that, you know, today, well, you take a plane and in a few hours you move uh, yourself and your baggages and maybe something more from one yeah. side of the world of the, to the other. As someone was um, uh, writing yesterday on the newspapers, um, uh, in the past, when someone in a little country had a problem with a virus, I mean, he ate something he shouldn't, like bats or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And he had a problem with the virus, he would come back to his village and he will contaminate uh, 100 persons, okay? Of these 100 persons, 25 could die, 25 could survive, and so on. But then the, the virus would stop there. Today, <laughs> you, can, you, you can hardly imagine how many flights yeah. are now not flying, but that has been the story. So yeah. it's very easily to have, and we have to take it uh, as a reality for the future too. In the sense that pandemic things can happen very easily today because of too, too much, yeah, you know this. Exactly, um, we're, we're we're all over the place, and we're we're traveling all over the place, and um, you know, on moving on too one much. Hand, mm, yeah, yeah. Entropy, entropy the, the the maximum of the movement will bring to a complete stall, a complete block, and, and that's that's the situation. It's incredible. So what can I tell you is that in Italy we have been progressively adapting measures, which today are very restrictive because, uh, well since uh, five days I cannot even walk outside of the house uh, myself here and we are not in a spe special I mean we are in Veneto northeast Italy which mm -hmm. is quite touched but Vicenza and I'm living in the countryside we are not so much touched but we have daily cars from the police announcing that you have to stay home don't move yeah. stay home don't move like in the war it's exactly yeah. the same feeling it's incredible so this is what we are living and the, the point is that is not a joke many italians take it like a joke oh it's not that going to be my problem but today yesterday uh, 800 people died i mean it's we are at incredible. Day, we people died. It's, yeah yeah, that's yeah. The, i mean the way the way we have it here um and we were speaking already a, a few days ago and yeah. I said it's it's the same here. Now the lockdown measures are coming in, but um, yeah, there are so many people that are just not taking it seriously. And, uh, you know, m many people, uh, the professionals are saying maybe we're only a couple of weeks behind northern Italy and we'll get to this serious, serious situation where, where so many people are affected. Yeah. Okay, um, let, let's say that, um, yeah, this is something which happens naturally because uh, also the human, the human being tends to logically to, <laughs> to try to believe in what he likes to believe. And, oh, and, uh, yeah. and it's understandable and it's also important to keep this positive attitude. But on the other side, yes, uh, I, I work for a multinational company and we had connections to our 
subs around the world and mm -hmm. they stated that in the beginning it was not so evident maybe it was not so like in italy maybe in italy you have other specific specificities uh, in reality now they have exactly the same problem yeah. be it in spain or france or uk or whatever and and this is well this is part of the play and um, yeah and uh, and the point we were talking about yesterday or a couple of days before is was exactly how to behave in these situations no? yeah absolutely um and you know a, a thought had crossed my mind this morning in fact because uh because I, I see a lot of people doing uh, some live streaming and I've been live streaming some of my classes now as well. Um, and the thought came to my mind uh, just this morning as well, actually, about, you know, um, I can't, um, uh, what's the word, I can't control what other people are doing. There's no um, observation. There's no one to look after. Uh, yeah my students I can't see them but then I thought you know for all of these people they're at home with no no supervision you know yeah. there's no because I think when we're in a society we tend to keep ourselves in check by the people that we are also interacting with yes yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah. and now we have this isolation and, and what we were talking yeah. about uh yeah. yes the, the, the I, I think that there are three things which are quite amazing in that sense. Uh, the first one is exactly as you were talking about, um, the sense of responsibility. Uh, today, uh, in the past, we, we were used usually in, during the training and the classes um, to pull the guys with us and say, you should do that, I'm working, I'm looking at you, uh, behave properly, do mm -hmm. it, go down, make the leg strength, okay all the stuff you follow them and they are like pu pulled uh, all the time mm -hmm. uh, today is time for them to be responsibilized in the sense that they have to take responsibility for what they do or what they want to do and they have to become active part of the play and if you remember when we were in caledonia and i introduced my students um it's also the the difficult point is to find people which uh, can self-ignite itself, <laughs> can, yeah. which can uh, motivate himself, which yeah. can say today, okay, uh, well, I, today I didn't do my, my work, I, I needed for the legs because, you know, in Chinese Kung Fu, one day lost in training is one week uh, lost in, 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 in quality. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, and there's another whole package. The second thing which struck my mind uh, recently is that never as today we see so many good teachers sharing their knowledge. Um, in the past, I remember when I started 40 years ago, it was like I was looking for the book coming out from the Chinese market and you could get, I don't know, like the one I have here, what is one? of Sun Lutang, uh, I found that book in Dusseldorf. And for me, for a couple of months, was like I found my my, my treasure. Nah? Yeah, and sure. in this rice paper stuff and so on. So this was the, the hunting at that time, uh, the hunting for material, for, for knowledge. For um, Today, you, you have so many sources and so many qualified people I see in Italy, mm -hmm. but I see everywhere and, and people doing wanting to cross and share. So there is not any... Any secrecy any longer? No secrets. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody's there. I think Barry, for example, our good friend Barry McGilley, sure. he's doing a beautiful. He's fantastic. And he's I, love fantastic. Fantastic. I love watching his stuff. Yeah, but Barry is amazing, and I follow him too. I mean, and again, it's like um, a good part. You see, um, always you know, the, the, the yin yang theory is always working really properly sure. and accurately uh, in a time of greatest chaos and and, and sadness there are values which come back which one mm -hmm. one is responsibility the second one is the sharing and a compassionate sharing i would say i say also italian teachers sharing uh, deep knowledge and deep consideration about their own life which are applicable to to them to, to others and this is really good stuff good good mm -hmm. um, motivation the third thing i am i am uh, appreciating is the uh, with, together with responsibility and with um, this sharing is the, um, well, um, self-disciplining, self-discipline, uh, the need to go back to organize yourself, to, mm -hmm. to don't, don't use excuses. I mean, you go for, 
And this was something yes. I was really going to ask you about, actually. This decide, um, the self-discipline when you are, you don't have the people around you that, that yep. motivate you. When you've got nobody watching you, yeah, that's, that's keeping you in check. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that's, and that's a beauty, too, because you remember, um, when, you, when you see people in the classes, mm -hmm. um, there are people that need to be pulled Mm -hmm. And there are people that you see, they want to, they, they are keen, yeah. they want, they look for. And this is exactly the point where, in my opinion, we, we can learn now what is self-discipline. Because the self-discipline brings results. Yeah. Self-discipline now is not something you do, you don't do. In the end of the day, you go out with your friends, you eat, you drink, you have your job, everything is clean. Today is not like that. Yeah. Today you are in a house, you are isolated, you are alone with yourself, you are alone with your wife or with your cats or whatever. But the point is, um, okay, now it's point for you. How, the, the, the point is, time passes anyway. It's not that now we stop time until the next time. That the, sure. No, yeah, time is exactly. passing. And the way we use it is very important. So to me, today is a question of... Um, being <laughs> responsible to myself and taking the time in the morning to make the stretching here in the gym mm -hmm. where I'm, mm -hmm. the, my little gym in the house or going down in the garage and, and uh, performing. Yesterday I took the saber again and I'm performing the form that with which I won in 1988 the Italian Championships. I'm, I'm working on what could be helpful for my students yeah. and trying to, but without over overdoing things because people, yeah, can do a lot of things from videos, but on the other side, we also have to be <laughs> compassionate and let time for relaxing, sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I come back to the point. Self-discipline in this period of time is basic because uh, allows us to be efficient. In which way? Not in the physical way, in the mental way, and in mm -hmm. the spiritual way. Um, Self-discipline means that when you have a panic attack, uh, there are, you know, uh, there aren't solutions in reality, no, yeah. uh, whether you go for a pill, whether you go for an injection, or mm -hmm. whether you go for a crisis, okay? And in this case, self-discipline means you have put enough work and training and confidence in your methods that these methods comes out to be effective in this moment mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. um, and this is putting research, creating resiliency, you know? Having much more power in your yeah. Uh, inside and not in this case in the body but in the mind yeah. but yeah. the mind can be taught can be educated through the body and thinking about keeping postures chanjong or uh, beating the, the 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 hardness of certain exercises when your muscles don't don't cope any longer and uh, you are no dead, ones but too. You <laughs> it, you know, uh -huh. oh yeah <laughs> That's exactly on a spiritual and a mental level is exactly the same. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So it's and now we we if we have strong muscles, mind muscles, we can use it in our daily day. And when a panic attack comes, or you feel like you cannot breathe, or because we are closed up, I'm, I mean, I'm since four weeks in the house, so it's a little Incredible. bit long as a time. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take the time to to work on that, and mm -hmm. this is. One of the messages, how to manage uh, ourselves in self-isolation is exactly that. Exactly thing. that. And it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting uh, what you say, because we, we had uh, uh, a little conversation earlier. Um, it's this, it, uh, the way I'd phrased it was uh, what it means to be a warrior in this yeah, time. Exactly. And, and, this is, and this is it. This, this self-discipline is building the tools for you, Please. little bit by little bit, to build this resilience. I agree completely. The, the, exactly, the point is, um, you remember when Paulo Coelho, the famous writer, wrote this, uh, this manual for the warrior of light. Uh, mm -hmm. this, um, there, has been, there have been a lot of adaptations of the warrior concept to more, yeah. I would say, uh, simple, Mm, approaches okay, okay. Yeah. warrior is uh, in my opinion in my feeling is not uh, about uh, uh, the war in that sense a specific I mean the, the physical confrontation also oh. but it's about also um, the way we cope with uh, situations like that one uh, oh. with uh, death with losses with uh, danger situation with risk situation um, 
And, and it is not a, it, it's a game. You have to win day by day. Every morning you wake up, I wake up and I have my ghosts to, to manage. Yeah. Uh, every day, I, um, and it, it will be always like that until the last day. That was a little bit the Zen conception of the, the death. Mm -hmm. Not something that should destroy our life. In the contrary, is the salt of life. And, mm -hmm. and okay, this is brought to an extreme, if you like, for Japan, uh, for the Japanese culture. But in our daily life, exactly as you said, we train before because we need it, we will need it later. Mm -hmm. um, later, when things uh, go wrong, there is no time to rebuild the resiliency. Resiliency exactly. takes time, takes exactly. confidence, no? Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah, a question for sure. about being a warrior. warrior. Warrior are the people which are now, I can tell you, here in, 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 the, in the hospitals, police and uh, uh, surgeons, doctors. I, I really have a, a enormous respect for them because it's they are really incredible. fighting yeah. and they... And they and, and yeah, I have a friend which uh, is in the hospital here in Vicenza who spent the time to send a message on Facebook telling us, well, I mean the people on Facebook he knows, that here in Vicenza at the moment the situation is under control. And these kind of messages are needed because yes. they, it's like air, fresh air for the lungs exactly. because you know that at least in some places we are getting it uh, right and, yeah. and this is yeah. but again this is the attitude we and this is the meaning of of being a warrior warrior is for example i have a very good friend sergio fanton which is a, a real fighter a born fighter mm -hmm. um sergio and i we have very often discussions about yeah what is really fighting uh, and for him fighting is pulling down people and in that sense he's a, a war machine all my students mm -hmm. can tell you um but uh, then the point is, is he says to, um, he realized that we need time to, to spend the same training we do in our body, the same time we have to spend to do it in our mind, in our Absolutely. spirit. Yeah? Yeah. And spirit is always a concept which is very much, um, how can I say, uh, idolatries, a, a kind of myth. Mm -hmm. But spirituality is simply the, re the, the result of mind and body working together. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the two together and is not body and mind. The two together, they create spirit. Mm -hmm. This is the feeling I have. Yes. And uh, that's the message. Yeah, yeah. No, and, and I, I always find it really interesting because um, you'll know yourself when, when you're teaching and you're then trying to explain these try. Uh, kinds of concepts to people who are not training in the same arts as us. Um, what we talk about can, can seem really quite far removed from, yeah. from normal yeah. life. Quite mystical. Quite, quite mystical. mystical. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, here we are in quarantine, just like everybody else. Um, exactly. But, and, and, and it is, it's making it, I, I think, it's... Um, mysticism busting you know this is yeah. this is uh really down to earth trying to find the, the the methods of uh training the discipline that that works See. for the individual as we were saying a couple of days ago if you remember the point was uh sometimes we need to do things that belong to us in that specific moment and not i mean if you feel you should do something, but this thing is not working for you. Don't do that. Yeah. Listen to yourself, listen to your body, to your mind, and do what you need in that specific moment. Yeah. No? Yeah. Remember, we were talking about, I was training um, recently to uh, to get uh, limber again because of uh, I work a lot on, on power. And when you work on power, muscles become shorter mm -hmm. and you lose mobility. So I was working on that and I was t saying with uh, Sergio, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm desperately needing in these days to spend one or two hours per day to make splits, to make my body, my spine limber and my neck and so on. And he said, I'm doing the same. I'm, I'm feeling I need now to be flexible. And this mm -hmm. is simply a reflex of what we need physically yeah. And what we need to be also mentally and spiritually more flexible more to flexible. accept things changing. That's sure. it. Absolutely. But how we yeah. perceive death is also 
changed a lot in in modern times. Um, I was saying, you know, I mean, I don't know about uh, uh, in Italy, but it always used to be that the the older generation, when they became more and more frail, you would yeah. bring them into your home, uh, yes. you know, the the grandmother or whatever, and and uh, you would take care of her and. And you yeah. you would be there. The, death was part of of the process of living. It yeah. it wasn't something we didn't send people away to do. No, that. no, 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 no. You know. Well, the, the point is, um, um, something which our president uh, mentioned yesterday on the television. Um, the, the the greatest loss in our times because of the coronavirus is about losing the elders, yeah. losing the elder people, because uh, these people uh, represent still, even if with all the yes and no and the new generation and uh, a millionaire and so on, but um, they represent our memory, they represent our roots, yeah. they have been experiencing war uh, yeah. 60 years ago, uh, more, 70 years ago, and and this represents a connection to our roots, to our tribe, to our mm -hmm. way of being. And, and losing them is, is, is very bad for many reasons. So um, what is, what is the, the, the point about losing, um, losing today? The point is, um, uh, well, the, we, we, go, we give for granted that we live forever. <laughs> the, the habit is to be uh, great consumers from the first day to the last day of our life. Yeah. Consumers means that you have to get, uh, get money somehow to get that because the car is fundamental, the house is fundamental, and the, all the benefits are fundamental because we are going to live forever. Okay. Um, the only point is that we're not going to live forever. No. And mm -hmm. nobody knows when we're going to live. And that, in my opinion, this is really uh, what, uh, what I'm getting more and more now. All the things I do, I try to do without attachment in the sense that um, I'm not considering, um, for example, my students to remain my students for the whole life. I mean, um, we meet, we work together, we get, uh, we get friends, we go along for a certain time, but this is nature. I mean, mm -hmm. otherwise it's attachment. If, you, if we think about getting people and and, and being with them all the time, whole life, and in the same way, because this is the rule, because this is what I want. We are lost somewhere. Uh, yeah. Life is changing. No? But why? My system is exactly about continuous yeah, change. Yeah, 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 exactly. You, you never know where you go. Bagua is a, a system that brings you all the time out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Uh, uh, in a sense that, uh, especially in my, in my way of doing it, uh, which was the old one, the, the Lao Shou, the old hand, which was no forms, only principles, only mm -hmm. specific techniques and work on them. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is bringing you all the time out of your comfort zone, all the mm -hmm. time, all the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And this is a kind of uh, starting to get acquainted with the idea of dying. In the sense of changes, the greatest change is that. Change, so... Sure. Um, that, uh, again, I don't want to become, <laughs> to appear like the wise man in the top of the mountain. Um, I don't know, you're are, doing a great job. Are, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in reality, we, we all know where we go and we, sure. we all refuse ourselves sometimes to accept reality. And, yeah. and as I told you before, every morning I wake up, every morning you have to reestablish your confidence in life, your accepting things that are changing, and because otherwise I'm going to be stubborn. Or <laughs> yeah, exactly, easy, the wrong way. Changing. <laughs> the idea is in the end uh, to, to accept the idea that we are not here forever, to accept the idea that every day, which is, and even these isolation days are um, great, great, great uh, opportunities to uh, read books you, you, you yeah. didn't read. Uh, Deep Survival. This is a beautiful book about uh, survival. This is a, Paul, a book from Paul Silvestrale, you know, our good Fantastic. friend who suggested to me. Deep Survival, yeah, yeah. Uh, Who Lives, Who Dies, and Why. And this is a beautiful book I suggest to everyone where a lot of myths about being supercharged, the strongest, the better. I mean, it's Darwin again. Uh, uh, the person who will survive is the person, even in these difficult situations, is the person who has um, 
more disciplined with himself. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. amazing. No, mm-hmm. you, who does the things he um, and keeps uh, loyal to a way of doing things and yes. and continues to adapt to manage to and very often this is was amazing. Uh, the survivors, people like lost in the sea in the Pacific Sea uh, for 52 days with almost nothing around. When the the boat found him mm-hmm. and they told him, "You want come on, come come on the boat, we give you," he said, "Ah, well, yes, but uh, if you have something to do, you you can do. I am organized. I'm. I mean, <laughs> they were already adapted in the, the new situation where they were well, so to say, yes. Yes. the way they were." Okay, that's amazing. And that that's really amazing, and that yeah. gives you the perspective of how we could we can because we all can uh, adapt ourselves and find a perspective where we can say, okay, uh, today we have bread and we eat bread. Today we have onions, we eat onions, yeah. and well, and I, I repeat again, it's not easy. It's not automatic. No, no. It helps. Well, you do you know, and it's uh, really right down to the very, very basic. You know, if we if we apply it to to us now in our situation, um, I think you you said yesterday something like um, you you really wanted to to eat something in particular, but you didn't have it in the house, and and you know you're you're going out uh, maybe just once a week to 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 get food and, and, and that's it yes exactly. and and you were saying oh I, I could I could just go and and, and get this you know something that, that I really want right now and um, I mean that, that there's no discipline in that is there and I think that was no. that was your point and you, you really had to keep yourself in check and say but it's okay I, I have I have food here I'm Absolutely. not gonna starve it might not be what I want this moment but that can wait, you know, and, and, and really right down to the very, very basic uh, ideas of here and now <laughs> and keeping it, keeping, keeping this y- yourself in, in check and, and that discipline yeah. and, and accepting, uh, like, like you said about the prayer, accepting the things you cannot change. Yeah, but at the same time also being, being, being uh, realistic and not mm-hmm. pretending to be what you're not are. I mean, I'm not a perfect man. I'm not a person who can resist to all the temptations. No, as Oscar Wilde said, the best way to resist to temptation is to accept them. Uh, so I mean, to, to <laughs> fall into them. So it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, being being uh, aware, being aware. Mm-hmm. Awareness is one of the key words in that sense. Being aware that your mood is changing. Being aware that yeah. you're going low. That you're going down. That you don't like situation. Being aware that uh, yeah. Yes, we are bad, we are here, but think about the people in the hospital in this moment. Exactly. Think about going out and, 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 and discuss with youngsters that don't want to go back home and they, they, they simply stupidly don't, don't think about, because it's in their genes, it's in their age, it's in their, mm-hmm. they have no experience, mm-hmm. but, no. and they never experienced something like that. And the, the fathers probably, the, the, the parents either. So the problem is multiplied by... And and what you can uh, you you can be very angry with them. You can start to be to say, oh, all Italians are stupid, or all Americans are stupid. In no sense. We are what it's we not are. Helpful. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but the point is being able to being aware of that and accept it. This sure. is yeah, one absolutely parts of the, the self discipline. Yeah, think. yeah, yeah. I think if we if we're to take away any lessons from this um i think it's really valuable now is the time that we can we have the time at home and to apply these ideas of of self-discipline um and and this time uh, sorry to interrupt you Mm. tina this time is also something that i would okay i'm not selling books by the way but it's just out of my library (laughs) are you sure (laughs) yeah 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 this is (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> ikigai. You know what is Ikigai? Ikigai is a beautiful Japanese way to understand what you want to do in your life, what you can do in your life to get money or no, what you are able to do, what is what you could be could get be paid for doing, and what what are your skills. I mean, is a is a nice thing to focus in this period of time, not only on the numbers of dead people or on the situations which are running and which will not stop in, in a short time. Mm-hmm. It's, it's pandemic stuff is, is real when it's 
well, it's it, what it is. But we can choose. Mm -hmm. And by uh, spiritual law, the things on which we focus will tend to expand. Yeah. So if we focus too much on negative things, we will continue to nourish the wolf, which is eating us from inside. On the other side, um, getting back hence to, you know, um, um, the masters. You know, where are the masters? Where are our masters? Our masters are here. Look. <laughs> All the books. Here. All there. It's amazing. And, and well, you don't have, when you don't have a master, shorthand, to which to talk with and, and to spare with, there is a lot of things to do still, Absolutely. which is go back and refine your mind. This is what Sun Lutang was praying all the time. Practice mm -hmm. and reflect. Reflect yes. and practice. Yes. Uh, which is a process without end and which is enhancing, um, lifting up. So focus on positive things. Focus on what you can become better on. Uh, mm -hmm. Work on your skills work on what you don't do nicely and you want to do better or um, engage yourself with a kind of challenge. Today, I will do 10 pushes more. Okay, do it. Uh, I want to become, I'm getting results, even with my 57. So there is no <laughs> limit. In that. Yeah? I think that uh, the message you have just given us all is, is it's perfect. It, uh, perfect for now. Perfect for 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 life in general. Even when we come out the other side of this, okay. you know, you are you are the wise man uh, in in the north of Italy right now. <laughs>